Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, folks, I have the Unimog 425 build project here on the workbench. Now, I started this project this past month here, or by the time this video may be uploaded, it'll be last month. <laughs> But I started this project build on the Unimog, which is done on a CCO1 chassis from Tamaya. And I started to build on it, and my initial plan was to do a start to finish of the whole process of putting this vehicle together. But I started having a few uh, issues while doing that, between my camera not focusing, the batteries dying on me, and stuff like that. And then as uh, building it, some of the parts did not want to go in right. It kept dropping parts and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, I can't do this. I have to, I have to do something. I have to put my focus on something. I can't have multitask function here. I can't operate the camera and build this thing at the same time. Uh, so I decided that, okay, I'm going to just put the filming on the hold and build the vehicle and then I'll talk about what I've done so far. So let me get it and talk about what I've done. So I got the body all done up. Now I painted it in a charcoal metallic gray and then I flattened out the back bed here as you see. Added the uh, the mirrors and the snorkeler that came with it. Then I put these little chrome pipes on here which are actually just old antenna tubes I had from old uh, FM radios. It's a great way to add some scale to your uh, RC vehicle for pretty cheap. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, looks pretty nice. Now uh, the wheels and tires, I actually changed out the rims because it came with these old um, 1.9 Tamiya Hummer wheels you see here. And uh, these are not bead locks. You have to glue these onto the tire. And I'm not a big fan of the glue method. I like my bead lock rims because they're just easy to do. And so I went ahead and I purchased some called G-Made. I got them off of eBay for about $15 a pair. Well, a set, not a pair. It's just a set. <laughs> but uh, really nice. These are actually true bead locks. They're a three-piece kit. It has a total of six screws, six nuts uh, that puts it together and it actually looks pretty good. They're plastic as well, so not bad. So yeah. Now I'll uh, go ahead and pop the top off here because I still have to melt the body and I have made a few mistakes on that issue there, but I will fix that, <laughs> okay? So if my camera will focus, I got the uh, electronics somewhat in there, not fully mounted down yet, but uh, I got my Traxxas XL5 ESC, which is a brush ESC. I got my Traxxas 2075 high torque servo in there as well. And then I got my receiver and the controller here, which is actually one of my new controllers I'm using. It's the uh, FlySky FSGT2B. It's a 2.4 gigahertz with a three channel on it, which is really nice. <laughs> Uh, so put that in there. Uh, now the vehicle did come with a ESC and actually came with a brushless ESC and I heard that you can actually use a brushless ESC on a brush motor and I well I was like you know well you know I got another vehicle that needs a brushless ESC so I'll just go ahead and throw in a brush one and uh, be done with it. So so I got that in there. So uh, so far it looks pretty good everything's running great. Uh, the only thing I am having an issue is if the steering, um, for some reason, the steering on this thing is not so great. Now, I don't know if that's just, you know, the CCO1 chassis ordeal or what, uh, but I have good turning going left, but going right, it doesn't really want to give me that maximum ability. And so I played around with the adjustments, the links and stuff, and still can't get it. Now I have not took it outside, so that could be an issue right there because I am riding it on carpet. These tires are rubber and they're kind of, you know, good grippy tire. So that might be an issue because it's pulling on carpet, so that that could be the issue right there. If I take it outside and, and maybe test it out in the dirt, it might do a lot better than that. Um, I have seen some videos where people have made some kind of adjustments on them by uh, trimming some of the uh, plastic away from the knuckles and stuff like that. Uh, I might look at doing something like that if, once I take it outside and see how it does. But uh, yeah, so, so far it's turned out pretty good. Uh, I'm fairly, you know, kind of pleased with what I've done uh, building this thing from 
bunch of bag of parts. So uh, yeah, definitely excited about it, guys. Now, also at the body, um, the kit did come with an LED light kit, the bucket lights for for the body. I didn't do this because I just, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I have no point of really running at night or I know it gives me that more scale appearance and all, but um, I don't know, I decided to go with the sticker method like always. Um, so yeah. And another thing that I wanted to do with the body is that I didn't want to drill any holes. I hate putting holes in my RC bodies. And so I actually went ahead and got some of these little magnetized body mounts. If you guys can see that, if the camera will focus. Don't focus on me, camera. Focus on here. Focus. Alright, my automatic tracking focus is focusing on my face because I have it on the face thing. Face recognition. So, alright. So... But um, I got these off of eBay for about uh, three bucks or something like that. And they're supposed to be magnetized. Now, for many years, for actually eight years, because I've been in the RC game for eight years, I've always used the Velcro method. And that always works out for me. Uh, but I decided to go a little modern day and use these uh, magnetized ones. Now, there's no instructions on really how to put these things together. It's complete. You have to figure it out, which is not a big issue. These things are pretty easy. And now putting on the body post, that was another issue. I think you have to like you have to cut the post to flush it down, you know, right with it. But uh, I tried doing that, and I kind of screwed up my body post on that. So I had to figure out that issue on that, <laughs> what to do on that. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> It's all jacked up over here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, guys, that's the update on the Unimog 425 from Tamaya. Tamiya. I think it's Tamaya. I've been watching a lot of videos and people saying Tamaya. So, I will say Tamaya. A lot of people say Tamiya. Some people say Tamaya. Tamiya, Tamaya, Tamaya. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos of the Unimog. So hopefully I'll be doing a run video on this and I got some other stuff in the works. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video if it helped you or, or if you liked it, like it, all right? <laughs> and subscribe to the channel where you get more content uh, when it's coming out. Hey, click that little ringer button, that little notification button so that way you'll know something YouTube redid their format so you got to hit that little notification button if you want to get notifications on that person's channel so make sure you do that and also check out the channel's facebook page as well as facebook.com forward slash rc84 films you can see pictures and video and stuff that i can't really do here on youtube all right guys well thanks for watching and i will see y'all uh, y'all know you know what I'm going to say. Later. <laughs>